Okay, we're gonna try this again. My camera just went poof, goodbye, uh, on my last attempt. So I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Being the magical person I am, I'm like, am I not supposed to be doing this Facebook Live? But I'm back again, so if you were with me the last 15 seconds before it cut off, I apologize. I don't know what's going on. I just uh, led New Moon Circle for my inner circle group, the Goddess Lifestyle Sisterhood, just fine about an hour ago. So who's, who's to know with technology, right? We just roll with it. Anyway, if you don't know who I am, uh, you're on my page, but uh, just in case you happen to be stumbling upon me, my name is Lisa Marie Grantham, and I am the founder of Goddess Lifestyle Plan. And Goddess Lifestyle Plan is a proprietary system that I created that teaches spiritually open women how to, how to really design a custom uh, goddess lifestyle so that they can live each day feeling inspired on purpose and totally badass. And let me tell you what I have found over the last almost decade uh, having my online business and, and coaching thousands of women across the globe is that really the minute a woman starts realizing, you know what, I'm pretty get badass and I'm a goddess, they want to start a business. And that just jazzes me to no end because I truly believe that women uh, in business create major change on the planet because we can be spreading our gifts and message with the world and we can be creating revenue that we could uh, be putting towards charity or giving our children or family or loved ones uh, the things that they desire. It's just a wonderful thing and I can help you too if that's you. Um, I definitely work in both the lifestyle and the business realm. I do coaching in both areas of those. So I'm going to be, like I promised, I'm going to be ramping up my uh, Facebook Lives talking about goddess lifestyle and business uh, moving forward. And I'm going to be attempting, I'm intending to do it on a schedule. So that is my intention. Hello, Joanna. I'm so happy to see you, sweetie. And I see Vicki join. Hi, Vicki. All right. Well, let me tell you a little bit about me and fear. Um, oh, gosh. We're just, we're just best buddies, honestly. But fear has been uh, something that has, has uh, followed me my whole life. And, you know, I just want to also say that uh, if, if you're resonating or you're feeling something about what I'm saying, just give me some hearts. I just love those hearts. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Thank you for joining me live. Um, I, I really love hearts. I really love comments. I want to interact with you. So hi, Vicki. Just kind of let me know where you're calling in from. If you're watching this on replay, please just put replay in the comments. I love to see who can join me live. Um, and, and who's watching replay because quite honestly, I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to be going, uh, doing Facebook lives, when I'm going to be going live on my page. And I want to try to make it so that it's as convenient for as many women as possible to be here for my live, uh, my Facebook live so we can interact and get to know each other be better and have this great synergy. So with that being said, I'm the most fearful. I, I, I will. I think I'm the most fearful person on the planet, and I know that that sounds crazy to probably everyone watching, especially those who know me. Probably know it a little bit better, but for people just kind of stumbling upon my page and my work, they're like, "Oh my gosh, Lisa, Lisa just is she's badass. She just goes after what she wants." This was a really learned behavior. It was not my natural default behavior. I was basically chicken little. What if the sky, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, like what's going to happen and what's going to happen? So it is something that I've had to overcome in order to create the lifestyle that I want to call in the incredible relationships I have, uh, to, to, to step into my full power it took a lot of courage. And that applies to you too. Stepping into your full power, into your, into your full feminine power, into your full potential, into the most healed version of yourself takes courage. And with courage means that fear needs to be tamed because they don't exist together, really. I have fear and then I decide to activate my courage to move through it. So if, I hope that makes sense. So if, you know, if you're in fear, you could still do it anyway. And I've become a really big advocate of that. I feel fear and I do it anyway. And I wanted to talk about that because I know so many of you that follow my work, down deep inside you have a desire, whether it's uh, for more, 
for more of something, whether it's more out of your life, maybe it's more better relationships, maybe it's to make more money or to be more healthy or to start your own business and have a global business like I do. That all those things need you to be courageous, need you to move through fear, which when you're not addressing it, when you're not looking at it, can literally stop you in your tracks from moving towards what you want. It just will stop you. And that is where I was for most of my life. I was in fear of everything. What if it doesn't work? What if I look like an idiot? What if it does work? What if, it, you know, what if, what if, what if? And the truth of the matter is, is those what ifs are still there. And I'm really blessed to say, ah, oh, so much. <laughs> I, I just love you, Joanna. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. I love you. Mm. Uh, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to inspire you. But I want you to know this does not come natural to me. I want to just say that I am... I want to say maybe I'm an ambivert, but I really consider myself more of an introvert. I do not like being the center stage. I just spoke with my inner circle, my sisterhood, and we were talking about Libra because today is new moon in Libra. And Libra is all about partnership. And gosh, I love partnership. And I'm not one to want to take center stage. And I'm not one that's like, hey, let me let me talk and listen to me. I'm more of a people watcher and a curiosity. And I'll say, yeah, I know, right? You would not have guessed that about me, but it's the truth. I am horribly uncomfortable even right now. I have fear, but I've gotten used to this fear. And I know certain things about fear that I want to share with you. And I, I want to allow what I'm sharing with you to inspire you to step into something that is has you have fear around. That maybe you've been allowing your fear to dictate the action you'll take. Because you're never going to get the life you want by letting fear run the show. And unless you really take a good look at yourself and your beliefs and what you're doing or not doing, Fear is going to run the show because fear is there. I mean, I'm not going to get too into the, the brain science about it, but fear is there, was put there to protect you. And so I love my fear. I love my fear. Isn't that crazy? It has stopped me from maybe creating what I have now sooner, but I love fear because it, it, it was, it's placed within our, our physiology in, in, you know, in the way we're made up to protect us, for, to protect us from danger. What I've learned about brain science is that we can override outdated files, so to speak. So how I look at it is the brain is basically like a new computer that you pull out of the box, brand, brand new. That's how we are. When we're born, we're this brand new computer. Never, nothing, pristine, nothing's been downloaded. And as we go through life, our experiences and what we're taught and told, it's downloaded like files into that brain of yours. And then we start, when something comes up, we, our brain goes bink, and it pulls forward that file. And usually that file is outdated. It's just shit. It was an experience we had when we were a kid. It was something we were told. And one, one of the things I know for sure is that most likely most of your fears are old stories. But unless you're designing your goddess lifestyle, really, and that what that means to me is consciously creating your life, consciously designing your life. Taking a look at everything you believe, and there's a funny story uh, that I that uh, that comes with that. I read, uh, you know, scrolling on my Facebook one time, I read, "Don't believe everything you think, or don't believe everything you believe." And I thought, isn't that smart? Isn't that smart? Like one of the things I ask myself, yes, we have the potential to remove that malware. One of the ways I do it, Joanna, is I sit there and I say. If I have a thought and I'm like, oh, I'm afraid of that. And I'll be like, well, why am I afraid of that? And then I'll think about all the reasons in the past that I should be afraid of this thing I'm doing. And I'm like, is that still true for me? And that's a Brene Brown uh, uh, a technique, I want to say, um, a strategy, a technique. And I believe it's Brene Brown. That she'll, say, she'll say, is it true for me? And a lot of times, or is it still true for me, is something I'll do if I'll pull, pull it up from the past. Like, is it still true for me? Um, all my thoughts, I'll, I'll examine them <clears throat> because we outgrow our thoughts. We outgrow the things we believe, but we never address them. We just kind of like 
keep them in those files and we don't realize, oh my gosh, they're really, really stopping me from attaining the success level I want, the lifestyle I want. Been doing a lot of that this week. I know you have, sweetie, and I'm so proud for you, really. I am, Joanna. And hi, Cindy. Hi. Well, welcome. I'd love to know where everybody's calling in from, too. Let me know where you where you watching me from. It's fun for me to see how many how we reach around the globe. Yes, yes, I love her. Brene's work is excellent, but that's a really great prompt for you, ladies. Is this still true for me? And I put it through that lens. And then I decide, is it still true? Most of the time, it's not. Most, and some of the time, it's like, yeah, it's still true for me, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm pushing through this. I am pushing through this. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. So I was fearful of everything. Um, it kept me really small. It kept me, I thought, really safe. But that is really just bullshit. It doesn't keep you safe at all. The safety is an illusion. It really is, ladies. And I want you to hear that. All the safety you think you have is an illusion. Being out here in the world right now doing this Facebook Live, and I mean, I have almost 30,000 followers and fans around the globe. I'm open to trolls. I'm open to negative comments. And you know what? That's scary to me. I don't want somebody to say something mean to me because those of you who know me really well know that I'm a kind person and I never say mean, hurtful things. I try to always be positivity and light and encouragement. So for somebody to come and like shit on my page and say something rude, I mean, it's something that we all have to face in business when we have an online business. And I'm just being really truthful and open with you and honest because I think the transparency would help would help you if you're maybe trying to start a business and that like kind of sits in the back of your mind like shit man somebody could just like flaw have you having a bad day or they're just like you they're just maybe even a crappy person let's face it there's crappy people out there that have that that find nothing more exciting to do than than travel around online and crap all over other people but i'm here my vision my work my soul work pulls me so much more that i push through that fear wanting to be of service for the women who are ready for the message. When you're ready, I wanna be here for you. So that is what pulls me through. So, you know, the trolls, eh, I'm willing. I'm willing to take the hit from the troll to be here for all of you. And maybe to say something that would spark, like, you know what? Wow, that really hit me today. Because they always say, you know, sometimes so when you're ready, you hear the message. And that's with everything. So. For any of you who are, who are really dying to have an online business, really start something and, and you're thinking, oh shit, man, I'm afraid, like being visible, making a mistake, having a troll. I have those same fears as you, but I'm here because to be of service to you is bigger. It's more important to me than, than being embarrassed or making a mistake or having somebody say something mean. So I really want you to know that and hear that. And if it applies to you, just definitely give me a, give me a holler over here and let me know. So playing small, I mean, let's check my notes here. My, me being my Virgo, I love my notes. So I was afraid of things working out because then how was I gonna handle it? How are the people in my life gonna handle it? I was afraid of things not working out because then, oh my God, I would fail or what if, or what if I can't pay my bills? And what if I invest in this business coaching program and I get nothing out of it and then I can't pay my bills because my business craps out? All of these fears. And it's a lot to do with the thinking in the monkey mind. So fear is all in, really it starts in the air realm, right? In the, in the realm of thoughts. And then, if you really allow it to, it starts to grow roots, like get hooks in you, and it really comes down into the emotional body, into the element of water. So what we want to do is really try to keep our monkey mind and those crazy fear thoughts at bay. And I call it taming my fear dragon. That's how I address it. And here's the thing. I'm so glad that you heard this thing, Christine. I totally understand it because I have moved through it in my business and in my life. I've, I've faced lots of scary things, lots of lots of start overs in my life where my life imploded. I felt like literally I, I was like in the tower card of the tarot. Like, you know, it's it's scary stuff. It's really scary. But but faith, faith. In, in that everything is happening for us, not to us, is one of my mindsets. So 
absolutely a mindset. Anything you're going through, ladies, anything you're feeling fear about, whatever the outcome is that you're so afraid of, it's there to teach us something. Maybe a troll is going to come and say something horrible, so I'll thicken my skin and be able to like kind of let it roll off my back a little bit more. It's always there. Whatever experience we're having that we're so afraid we might have is there to teach us a lesson. It's happening for us, not to us. So that's first mindset. Very, very important um, to always keep in mind. When your ass is like burnt about something, it's hard to remember that. Or like if you're, if it's really like a, something that, that crumbles your life, and that's happened to me. My life has crumbled. My business has crumbled a couple of times. It was there. It was there to totally teach me things. It was there. It happened so that I could become this version of Lisa. And then whatever I'm going to be leading into will make me the next healthy and powerful version of Lisa. So Cindy says, that's where I'm at right now, starting. Absolutely. Well, I am so proud for you and I'm rooting for you, Cindy, and, and know that I'm here and I help women all around the globe create their online business. So um, it, always reach out if you need some help and support because I am definitely all down for that. I love, love seeing women step into their entrepreneurial power for sure all right so playing safe is an illusion it's just an illusion all it does is keep you small and keeps your life small keeps your life small that's not what we want we want an expansive life because that's the thing the desire for that expansive life is in there but fear blocks us and it's an ego thing right it's, it's in our ego and like I said I don't want to get too much into the brain science of it but it's there for a reason but if we can logically know that we can coach ourselves through it. And that's what I was talking about. I have fear, I, I, call them, I call it my fear dragon. And if I allow fear to stop me from doing something I know I should do, I'm feeding that fear dragon. And what happens when you feed something? It becomes bigger, it becomes bigger. Bigger, 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 to the point where you're paralyzed. And that's what happens to many, many women. I've seen whatever they're fearful of, if they continue to not push through that fear barrier, push through that glass ceiling, feel fear and do it anyway, you're feeding, uh, uh, you're feeding that fear dragon. It's just becoming bigger and huger, right? The monster becomes bigger and huge. It's like God, my fear dragon at some points was Godzilla size, size for crying out loud. I was like, oh my God, you know, but the thing is, the minute that you feel fear and do it anyway, you take away its supply. You take away fear's power. And then you start starving that fear dragon. And what happens? It shrinks. So that is such a great thing. I'm not going to talk too, too long about it. I want to let this be something we talk about onward and onward. But again, feel fear and do it anyway. Feel fear and do it anyway. Because when you do that, you're taking away the food supply, the power supply for that fear dragon. And you're taming your fear dragon which the next time the resistance might be even less. And you'll start to even create these new beliefs that maybe I like this a little bit. Like, you know, because that's how it was for me. These lives and these videos, oh my gosh, ladies in business. I mean, I just avoided making video. I was a badass from behind my keyboard. Let me tell you, this thing right here, on fire. Did I want to even get in front and show my face? Never. Dreaded it. And the longer I waited to do it, the harder it was to actually do it. So whatever you're fearful of, feel the fear, do it anyway. Fear is also, there's an acronym, and I'm pretty sure you've heard it, but if not, I'm going to say it for you. So fear is basically, I think you take all the first letters. Fear is basically false evidence appearing as reality. It's not true. What we're afraid of rarely, rarely, rarely if ever happens. And the truth is, a very goddess lifestyle plan assignment is to feel fear, do it anyway. And if something like your fear happens to come true, what is it there to teach you? What is it there to teach you that disaster or that stumble or that failure or whatever? What is it there to teach you? Take that pile of shit and turn it into something good and empowering for your life. That's what I do. That's a very goddess lifestyle mindset. It's like, I am going to make lemonade out of lemons. I'm sure you've heard this. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Listen, I'm from New York. I'm blunt. I say, take that pile of shit and make something good out of it. Whatever way you want to put it, just roll with it. But it's alchemy. 
And that's what we want to do. We want to take these magical processes and we want to apply them to our life and our business and push through those things that are stopping you. It's just not even true. When you push through and you have a new experience and a new story, now your brain can start pulling up those files. Well, last time I did it, it was pretty fun. And look, we had a great time, didn't we? So I'm so glad that I pushed through my fear. I've got my office all set up or mostly set up. Uh, and, you know, I'm really feeling like I'm ready to start talking with you guys and, and having these dialogues about what it really means to be empowered, what it really looks like to design your goddess lifestyle and to create an online business that really just, just makes your life better and the world a better place. I mean, is there anything better than that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, let me see what else. So my mantra, feel fear and do it anyway. And, you know, Marie Forleo is a really big uh, coach out there. She's awesome. She, she said something years ago that now she made a book about. Her mom, I believe, if I'm correct, her mom uh, always told her everything is figure outable, Marie. And now she has a book called Everything is Figure Outable. So I want to tell you that no matter what you're facing, I've gone through many, many things with the internet here, being that we moved to an island and we moved to the rural side of the island. I wasn't able to get good internet. It triggered me so bad, ladies, because my business is online. And I was like, oh my God, what if I can't get online? What if I can't continue my business out of my house? What if I need to get an office? Like all those what ifs, right? Scaring the shit out of me. It did, I admit it. But I, I finally like had a moment where I was like, whoa, no, no. The, I don't live in Guam. I live off the coast of Southwest Florida. This has got to happen. Everything is figure outable. I remembered that. And I went to it and I kept going through, you know, then of course I have amazing friends that are in this in industry as well, online coaching and online business. And one of them, uh, you know, my friend Hibiscus Moon, and I just want to say, Stephanie, if you're watching this, thank you so much for all the suggestions because she, she lived on an island as well. And she was like, you got to get a hotspot. You got you try satellite internet. Well, one thing at a time. And here I am with the connection speaking to all of you. So everything is figure outable. So today, the takeaways are fear is an illusion, all right? My mantra, feel fear and do it anyway. For those of you who have coached privately with me, you know that I say it all the time. Feel the fear, honor the fear. It's there to protect you. But you being in your full, full feminine power has to be like, thank you, fear. I know why you're here. I so appreciate you, but I'm doing it anyway because you know what you want and that fear is what's blocking you from getting it right so push through it and then the last thing from marie forleo uh is everything is figure outable so if you have something that's bumping up again you're bumping up against over and over and over you could take a breather from it because i know sometimes you just need some healthy space from something but ladies keep going at it everything is figure outable all right, so I hope that served you. And I'm going to, if you, would you guys let me know, do you like Saturday face uh, lives or would you prefer a different time? I'm going to put a poll or, or a question up on my, on my fan page here, on my business page. And I would so appreciate it if you let me know, like when are your best times to connect live like this? Because I really want to be here when you're here too. And I want to make it as convenient as possible. So I'm starting to systematize everything. And I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm hitting you at the right time, okay? If it's a, if it's a Saturday, let me know. Uh, my business coach says Saturdays aren't great for social media. So I don't know if that's true, but she, every, every business is different. So if you really like Saturday around this time, you let me know. And if you like during the week at a certain time, let me know. I'll, I'll give some options, but please let, let me know. And if you're watching this again on the replay, put replay in the comments. I also want to mention that I have two free gifts that if you haven't grabbed them yet, they're up in or side or wherever the description is on this, uh, on this video. Grab them. I have one for living your goddess lifestyle, how to create space anywhere you desire, which is so important. Creating sacred space around you really supports you. It connects you to your higher power and um, to your divinity, to divinity, and it helps support your, your, your moving forward in your goddess lifestyle. And then I have my profitable business checklist, which is also a link for you there. So if you 
are entrepreneurial minded and you're thinking like I either have a business or I want a business, you need that checklist. It gives you my 20 must haves for a profitable and magical online business. All right, so till next time, my loves. Sending so much love. It's new moon in Libra, so I want to give you new moon blessings as well. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.